it's fine. Uh, here's your plane. The swords are for the smith. Uh, the oil goes over here. Nails, whatever. What do we have here? An amber emerald. Hmm. A ring, silver amethyst ring. With experience gain on it. Healing efficiency and health restoration, move resistance. We usually find these rings, so maybe I shouldn't. I'm not sure what we're saving up for. Treatises, probably. You can hear the cat purr. Big update. We sell him the alcohol. We buy some smoked ham. Even though I have food here. Oh, this one's spoiled. Too bad. And... I wanted to sleep here. Let's buy for two weeks, I suppose. Big spender. The horns go in here, the book, the dust. There's a new system that determines the maximum amount of time you sleep, but I think it won't be a problem unless you like trying to abuse sleep, which was the, also the problem with the system before, and I've never really done that much. You should be able to save even though you can't sleep, but yeah. So you can always come up and save. I don't see the save button right now, but maybe it'll pop up if it's relevant. Does it matter when I wake up? I don't think it does. So we want to sleep the nine hours so we get the most out of that sleep buff. Which I think is still the same. Here, figure. It used to be nine hours anyway. That was the most optimal. And then, brewery. Oh, it's here, of course. Fate of the Brewery. Uh, so we can either head up here to the Brigand Camp, but I think we'll go up in this general area of the map later anyway. So I think right now we just focus on the Brewery. We can maybe do that Wolf Trail further out. I want to go over here and drop the sword. With the other one. It's for the quest. Uh, oh, ah, I have not bought a second water skin again. Um, but on the way to the brewery, there's the river, so I think we'll be fine. I hope. Out on a night mission. Uh, and we do have food, yeah.
Actually, we will, uh, we uh, really want to cross the, the bridge so that we don't have to get wet. Um, do I get wet here? A little. Okay. Very little, apparently. Huh. Nice. Oh, and then they were waiting for me here. Okay. Oh, so they will be wet in the water, and that means that they will take more electromancy damage. Uh, shock resistance down by 10%. So if I stay right here and wait for them, we will have that advantage. They're moving very slowly. What are they doing? I think there may be a bug in the system. They take, they're wasting turns every other turn. Look at him. Well, he's wet now. He's taking more damage from it because of the water, I think. And he died, and I got the XP. Good. Not sure what was going on with their actions, but whatever. First time we see that. May have had something to do with the water. We like blueberries. A fox is spotted. Another one. Too fast, I can't catch them. Thok is spotted, huh? I would love to level up, so we're looking for a fight. Should pick it up. And we arrive at the brewery. You don't look like bandits. Ah. Uh, that's correct. A card and two horses. I will help you. I like having the brewery as like an extra income area. So. Let's save it, as always, and then off we go. Shouldn't be too hard of a fight, I think. Ooh, and a grave. 
Oh, did they speed up how fast you can click this as or no? Hmm. Kind of felt like it went faster at the beginning there, but eh. Padded leather vest may be worth using for us. No, probably not. Doesn't boost our magic. Bunting is spotted. Murder. And here we are. There are a lot of enemies here, and I leveled up just from finding it. Nice. Willpower, and then... We do have access to Leg Sweep. Where's the... Uh, oh, the Inner Reserves is also tied to that. So that's... That's a really good uh, wizard thing. Just having a, a replenish of your energy every once in a while. And then it also comes with passive energy restoration. So I can spam spells more. And with when we can spam spells more, that's when we start working on getting uh, lowered backfire damage. I don't think anything here d increases my damage output, which is kind of what I want. If anything, um, this would increase how many spells I can cast. How these are also willpower, willpower, willpower. Okay, they all scale or unlock with willpower. So we are just getting ourselves willpower all the way. Yep, that's fine. A magic power passive effect from the seal of finesse. Lower fumble chance. No, I think. Um, well, that's kind of weird because this one makes us move, and the other one wants us to stand still. But to get the inner reserves, keep the point. Oh, are we about to unlock something? Three, three, three. And three. Okay, all of these will unlock in three levels, and then we can get the whole row if we start saving up now. I'll get skinning, but I have money. Yeah. I don't think we'll be getting skinning. Too stingy with the XP. I can always get it lithics whenever we are like in a life and death situation where the only thing that would save me is having leg sweep. Then we spend the point in leg sweep and then we have it. Until then, we'll think about it. Who knows? We might find a treatise or something, right? I could get a spell from a different school. Like the armor from here. Or just fire barrage. Yeah, this one deals three times the damage and more if they're burning and stuff like that. So that's definitely about damage by comparison. Okay, it does eight shock damage now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. A few more steps out. Now we'll try opening with seal of power here. I just want to see how much I can do. And how much mana we have left here after a combo like that. Still took about 40% of my health in damage. So it's pretty nasty. Oh, whoops. Rest up a bit. And 
then the next target. I think we managed to pull him. Hmm. Well, I think we do the same thing. And when I take those two steps, every time I do that, then the uh, the backfire damage should completely dis disappear. No, it does not. Skipping a turn or remaining on the same tile. Oh, so not it doesn't go down at all if I move. No. Interesting. Backfire chance is only 7%. And the damage would be like, what? For this one, it's nothing. It's so little that I don't even have to care about it on the jolt. Honestly. And it's doing 10 damage per shot. Ah, and there he goes. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Ah, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> uh, good stuff. So that time we took very little damage, if anything at all. Copper chain. No. Okay, did we manage just to pull one again? Looks like it. Oh, that was one time too many. But then he's easier to chase, at least. Because he wasn't jumping all over the place. Uh, let's rest up a bit. Eat some good food. So surely this is the final enemy? Nope. All right. Come on. Oh, keep moving. He might trigger his friend before I catch him. No, he got stunned and then we got him. Cool. If you get spells from other schools, you're losing damage on other schools. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, oh, yeah, it used to not be the case. Because Jonna had his, her trait, so she would net gain... Uh, magic power still but now she gets extra experience gain from taking uh, spells from other schools or magical passive okay 
spell or magical passive. So if I, in fact, if I take one of these spells or like skills here, we would get plus what two percent experience gain. All the while, instead of saving up the points, I would get XP faster if I specced into one of these spells or pa or passives. Interesting. For each point of received magic or nature damage, replenishes one energy and grants magic and nature resistances. I wonder if this counts for backfire, so that if I get backfired from a spell, I would regain one energy from this. Or like, yeah, getting a discount on the backfire loss. <coughs> uh, not a discount. And then you get magic resistance, which also helps with taking less backfire damage. So then it sort of becomes worth it to backfire. Or at least to get something. Soul of Cleansing. Oh, and if we, we can spend one point here next level. Spellcasting generates less fatigue. Aha, that's cool. We reduce the sanity loss from backfired spells. Ah. Lowest backfire chance. I like this one just because the passive effect here says extra magic power. 2.5% magic power would be fine. And then, of course, the seal itself is pretty good. It leads into this very fun seal of insight, which places like um, uh, these points on the field, which become worth more for a magician to stand in. 15% energy restoration while standing in one of those. So you could use them to recharge real quick. That could be kind of cool. I'm sure you're getting asked this a lot, but how's the new update? It's really good. I'm loving it. I like magic stuff and I get to be a real wizard now. So with that in mind, I think I will grab this one. Let's play around with it. Be a, a master magician. Yeah, you want to stand still with this one, but we can work that in. That's fine. It lasts for 16 turns. Okay. And you gain stacks. Okay. So if I pop it now, it ticks up over time. Right now we can't hit him, so we wait a turn. Now we've got two stacks of it. It just ticks up. So then we wait one more turn. It grows. Cool. Now we shoot. It ticks up, but I'm going to move. And it goes down one. It went up again. Okay. The timer doesn't increase. If I move now, it goes up that one and down one. So you can't lose it by moving at all because you can't move fast enough. Maybe if we had something that made us sprint and move more tiles, we would lose more stacks of it. I think that's what's happening. And so now I suffer no backfire chance while doing this. I also don't have my seal power up though. Um. That's fine. It lowers the cooldown duration by 40%, so we can spam the spell more. Okay. Well, we got him. If he doesn't get away. This is the bell that helps with spells energy cost, down by 3%, which I think is quite a lot for just a belt. So hopefully that, even if it just takes one point off, that's, you know, that changes how much fatigue we gain, right? So 
energy 14, energy... This one's so expensive, 26, yeah. 14, 27. So it makes a difference. <laughs> it's awesome, I hear they even added a new boss. Indeed, we, we know nothing about the boss and no spoilers if you do. I'm very much looking forward to finding him. It. Potato. Uh, that's it. We kick some butt. Now we go back. A report. So I think the rain will be more good for us than it's bad. While affected by three or four stacks of the effect, your metal equipment slowly degrades. Uh -huh. I don't think we have any. The rings. And the amulet, maybe. Oh, I should have cooked the birds. I had a feeling I'd catch you on here today. I hope the vaults have been treating you well. Hurry, McDur. <laughs> yes. I'm all charged up. Is he in here? No, I forget which one he is. It's this guy. This guy. No. There he is. That's right, it doesn't turn into a shop right now. We have to come back. Um, so then there's a little bit of walking back and forth. Do we want to do the wolf trail right now, maybe? At level three. Yeah. Although, what am I doing that for? Like, I, I can't get the pelts, so there's no loot. So what option did you go brewery-wise? Uh, I just went with my standard solution, which is to help the brewery guys so that they um, become friendly and then we can use their... Um, we can buy their... their, their ale that they produce and then sell it for profit later which is cool i like to do that and then we, i think we take a reputation hit in osbrook for that which is annoying but then basically you focus on other towns for reputation and use the barrels economy to support that and I've already made a fair amount of money pretty cool for early game I think we've been pretty lucky so far and also electromancy is obviously overpowered and amazing here's some ducks
Nothing much has changed? Yeah. I wonder how you find the new boss. I'm not even really sure how you get the, the troll quest anymore. Uh, at some point, I think you can ask for it in Manchai or something like that. Well, we'll see. And we're playing on permadeath here, of course. So we might not get that far, who knows? Right now I'm feeling good about the run. And then we have to walk back to the brewery again. This one I don't like, this part of the quest. It is annoying. So do you do Seal of Finesse here? Yes, I suppose. And then Seal of Power. Then he's in range. And now it doesn't matter that the rain gives me backfire chance, because my uh, seal of finesse keeps that in check. There's no backfire chance at all. But they take extra damage because of the rain. Die. God damn. I think he survived. He came out of it. Annoying. Um, eat this. I think we have enough swords for the quest then. Electromancy does seem strong. Oh, he was right there. Okay, hold on. Uh, he should come in here. I think, no? I mean, the, it does seem strong. But this fight, any any hero or adventurer could have beaten two two of those guys at level three. So it's interesting. It's very CC focused, crowd control focused, and I think it will be very powerful in major fights. I might be worried for. Um, Fighting like uh, big, big solo enemies, single enemies that we can with with like who might have a lot of move resist and stuff like that. That will be tricky. Well, we gotta ta talk to a veteran here. No, accuse Odar of lying is the first step. Right, so... <laughs> I think we go and do a little steely-steely business now. That one there.
Town center is my personal storage facility. Maybe they changed it so the thing is despawned now. I don't know. So we're not going to drop anything valuable. And I don't know if this still works, but we'll check it out. That is some good loot here. We put it back in and then at some point it will not count as stolen anymore. And he did indeed have a bear pelt. This is very rare. But now we can complete the bear pelt quest. The arrows do not count as stealing. Perfect. I think. I hope that's right. And not like a, a UI thing. So now we need to sleep until morning. And then do a little bit of town business. And accuse Odar of lying. That's why it's important that we're here. Are they waking up now? No. The apple here doesn't rot anymore. God, my nose is so itchy. Annoying. Uh, another water skin, and we'll cook the food. What's this? Amethyst Pendant. Experience gain 10%. That's a lot. Ten percent. Health restoration fast five percent is also pretty good. And healing efficiency, move resistance. Sold. And the new identify scroll. Here for this dagger with frost damage on it and lowered cooldown duration. Oh, it'll do so much more damage than the staff and it's only one handed. Yeah. Health restoration and healing efficiency up on the staff there. It is it's pretty good, but now we can have like a buckler in the other hand without any penalty. That's a really cool dagger. Only eight to repair. Oh, and I think all of these things will sell good for you. Here. I think it's three swords that you want. Yep. Buy new caltrops and lockpicks. Right. So the arrows and the staff, 10. Okay. Oh, he reset his shop. Um, there's nothing here. Why did we come here? Oh, to repair. Uh, 
I forgot to sell some amber, but otherwise I think we are ready to go. No, oh, and then we have to go and accuse Odor of lying. Go. I'll even put away my weapon and just point at him. You, sir, are a liar. The coughing fit. Hmm. I am sorry about that. I am back. Stronger than ever. Coffee attack. Yeah, I just. It was water. Or whatever. We take the 500 crowns from him, I think. And then the reputation hit. That's what I heard is the best. And, um,. Just gonna go with it, it's fine. Oh, we get a, a rumor from him. Cool. Did you ever try a sword build? Yes. I've, tr I've done both of those. Double sword and sword shield. I think we've tried dual wielding swords. So yes, we've done all of it. I think, in fact, I have played every uh, build at this point. Including the Electromancy and Magic Mastery, because we're doing that right now. But then I've tried every, at least one build per, per weapon tree and utility tree. Not basic skills, but dual wielding. We've tried to focus like solely on one of each of them, at least once. Some more than others. Okay, looks like we're going out this way. No, now we gotta talk to Varen before we go. How did you like it? It was my favorite in Safari and Melee. I think it was really fun. The best sword run I had was with the fencing thing. That was really fun, like a lot of movement. We built in some athletics too. Uh, what was I doing here? I wanted to buy, we have the water skins, just some food. Oh, we, we went in here for Varen. Oh, whoops. I was talking about... What was it? Where do you get that, um... Is that in Combat Mastery? you have fencing going on right on target this build here with swords was fun like a one-handed weapon sword but then the other hand was empty so it was like a fencing kind of thing that was my favorite sword run a lot of the the sword skills lends itself well to the defensiveness and the the dodging kind of style that that uh, played into so that was a cool mix My favorite melee is probably, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite. Like, axes are super fun. Chopping things to bits. I really like dual wielding, but it's so volatile. You, you die when dual wielding because you're so squishy. It is what it is. Cross by the bridge here. And we have wolves. Okay, two wolves. I can take them. So you go Seal of Finesse. 
I think you go Seal of Power first, actually. You're supposed to go this one first. That stunned him immediately? Damn. And I think we focus on one here. I forget about the dash thing. I, I didn't forget that it existed, but I forgot that it gives you extra counter chance and dodge chance for four turns if there's an adjacent enemy, right, when you end where you end up. So if, if I allow them to dash to me, they will do extra stuff. It's best if they don't, like this. Here yeah, they didn't dash. I mean, it burned all my mana, but we did pretty well there. Basic sword and lithic skill. You're talking, you're talking about the uh, this one here, keeping distance. Yeah, fun, fun skill for sure. I really like that. I agree with the movement in melee in in in, uh, in swords. It's pretty cool style. Quick on the feet. We should find something to put in the other hand. It could just be another dagger. I think that would still improve our damage output, even with the dual wielding rules. I can't catch the fox. Too fast. Oh, another abandoned cart. Nice. A boar. It might be too early to fight a boar. It's going to charge. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm still... I guess I'm getting sick, I don't know. Um... I think we saw two, didn't we? Seal of power. Seal of finesse. Shoot. I often end up walking towards them because I'm trying to click to attack and then they get pushed all of a sudden. I'm not prepared for it. Teleport spell.
How would you even do that? Like a town portal kind of thing would be sensible enough. We just teleport to a specific t uh, tile in town. But talking like from here, if I want to teleport to this tile, where do you end up? Right? I'm not sure how you would solve that one. Okay, and we can buy the barrels immediately here. Um, but... I think we will buy them. And drop them on the floor. I think they stay, and then... This way we can... He can reset his shop. I want to go out to this camp on a clearing here. So we'll be back. Uh, let me see. We should have the wagon now. Yes, indeed. Or the caravan. Backpack space. Oh, I forgot about the armor. I think it was just for selling, but still. Uh, so we should leave it here. All this loot. Mm. This one will increase my spell cost, so I'm not interested in using that. Uh, drop this. Maybe I should start saving up the rope and, and other various things to... I, I forget how you make... Uh, is that a skill? Basic skills. Survival. This is a skill that I have to invest a point into to allow me to craft a bedroll, really. I could never imagine myself spending a skill point on that. 